partly as a result of not getting up to sail on sea wings as often as we'd like in the last couple of years and with a number of maintenance items coming up needing to pull her out of the water to do and the logistics of trying to do that remotely we decided it was time to put sea wings on a truck and bring it down to Featherston where we live so we can get into the, 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 the more serious maintenance items close to home. After a fairly rushed arrival at the marina and hoping and praying that the engine would start up, uh, which she did, the second or third crank, we got to uh, the haul out facility just about bang on time and had the slightly daunting and nerve wracking uh, experience of being lifted about six or seven metres in the air in the boat as she was pulled out and got ready to put on the truck. Uh, the team at Orams gave her a scrub on the way out, the mast was dropped and she was put on the truck for the long haul south. Watching sea wings vanish down the road on the back of the truck was a surprisingly emotional experience with a few conflicting emotions going through my mind. After briefly catching up with sea wings in the truck hauling yard we headed 700 k south to home and got the camera set up in anticipation for her arrival. With a fairly snug entry to the uh, area where she's being stored, we had to make some minor modifications. Um, but in the end, the truck arrived and made it through the gate with at least inches to spare. What do you have over there? Two inches? 50 mil on that post there? Mm. Oh, okay. Easy. The boat haulers team quickly got ceilings into position, ready for the high oak to lift her off. off the trailer much easier. I have been arrived and it was time to lift the ceilings off the trailer. Well, 
team were preparing for the lift, we were doing our best to get the cradle together to put two in town. Then she was up and sitting pretty in her slings. This freed the boat haul team to get their truck out and pack it up ready to go over to Wellington to pick another boat to head northward. Meanwhile we carried on building the cradle under sea wings ready to drop her into it. Here's where the project got a little out of kilter, where when sea wings rotated slightly in her slings, you can see it's standing slightly crooked. which actually made it very difficult to get it to stand in the cradle properly. We had to try and re-sling several times and juggle in the cradle to get it to a reasonable vertical position. Anyway, after a bit more faffing around than was ideal, we finally got her to vertical enough and put props in to keep her stable, and freed up the slings to clear out the high ab. Then we dropped the mast and boom down to ground level and she was pretty well snug. Well, after a bit of an adventurous trip, she's now here, not perfectly level yet, but we'll fix that this afternoon, and get her all secured and put up tight until she's just fine. Then it was time for a few Cenex with the drone before we headed home. 